Hello everybody, welcome back to the Cumulonimbus. Kilo Amp here, what's poppin', what's crackin'? Let's get back to it, man. A lot's been going on lately uh, in the freaking world of this game, dude. And um, I, with as much has been, oh, look at this. So this is probably, not even probably, this has gotta be the truck that we're gonna use um, for like the mission we have coming up. Ricky's been working on it. We're gonna drive like this napalm bomb through the front doors of the freaking Colonel's place, dude. We haven't driven a car yet in this game. I'm looking forward to it. How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. Hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. Mm. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> hey, do you think the freaks from Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, where's our bike go? Okay, our bike is back over this way. Dude, this is awesome. Back at it again. Uh, let's see, do we need ammo? Um. I've been thinking a while for like about like swapping out the guns because we have like nothing in the way of range, um, but we just have the ultimate answers to like freakers and everything. So I don't know if I want to like swap out weapons or like try new things. Um, but at the very least, Deacon, good to see you. How's life treating you, Blair? Okay, cool. I thought they would talk longer. Uh, let's try. I don't know, Chicago Chopper. I'm either thinking about picking up the Chicago Chopper. Or, um, no, not Crowdbreaker, the Cowboy. Let's try for right now to pick up, let's just, man, I don't know, because we have, let's try this, the Chicago Chopper. Yeah. And then for the sidearm, we'll swap to the Eliminator. Um, because we've had a little stubby out, actually. Which one has, Eliminator's great damage, nice range, nice accuracy. Decent rate of fire, some good stopping power as well. Uh, yeah, sure, let's try it. Okay then. All right, yeah, let's let's blow hey, this popsicle hey, stand. Let's get out of here. You be careful out there. Wait, suppressors. Deek, deek. <laughs> so normally, like, we can find a bear out here, just like hanging around on this like backside of Lost Lake. Ouchies. Here. So what's your plan? I think if we can find all the fertilizer we need over at the Iron Butte Ranch. Yeah, it's not like Jesse and his rippers are gonna need it anymore. I mean, this place used to be a golf resort, yeah? They've got a maintenance area, you know, lawnmowers and the... Fertilizer. Goddamn right. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. When it's clear, I'm gonna radio you and Ricky to bring the truck in. You got it, brother. All right, who's her out? Who's that? This one? Yeah, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. I just wanted to say thank you for I want you to try. Hold on. I'm just oh! Dude, like, I saw them, but like, I didn't see them see them, you know? Is there someone else on us besides this one we have? No. Down you go! Bounty. I'm just sorry I was too late. Hey, hey! hey. Hot Springs, Iron Mike. Go to Iron Mike, dude. Well, I guess it's not Iron Mike anymore. Oh no! She'll take you in. I'm expecting Deacon to finish the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ricky. I'm... I just wanted to say thank you for coming back to help us. I'm just sorry I was too late. You weren't. We'll stop him. Schizo. We're gonna stop him, right? Yeah, we're gonna stop him. I wanted to say I'm sorry about your. There we go. Going through losing someone twice like that. Hey, I haven't lost her yet. We're building a really big bomb, remember? They got him! Glad to have you back. Lost needs you. 
Hey, Ricky. Uh, it wasn't his fault. You know, uh, Iron Mike. I mean, he was only trying to do the right thing. I know. Ricky, help. Murdering drifters. Oh, God damn it. No, no, no. What are you waiting to jump me? Huh? Oh, literally, Deacon, bro, but I get it. Um, I like the Eliminator, actually. It seems Thanks. much more accurate than... Oh, bro. Schizo. Oh, you got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. You gotta listen. Look, I tried to stop him. I did. From shooting Iron Mike. I did not want it to go down like that, bro. Captain, the Colonel wants to see you right away. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. Captain... Didn't take you long to lie your way into a promotion. This army crap is all bullshit and you know it. But bro, you gotta listen to me. I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. I just wanted you to know. Look, when Corey busted you out, the colonel, he went crazy. Thought she was in on it. He lost his goddamn mind. He went after Lieutenant Whitaker. He was gonna kill her, Deke. Deke! Yeah, I'm listening. But I stopped him, Deke. I did. I told him that all that poison shit she's cooking up, maybe we use it to kill the freaks, but maybe we don't. Maybe there's an enemy camp. Maybe they got one water supply. Maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that. Maybe that solves a lot of problems. Anyway, the Colonel, he likes that idea. So he puts me in charge of the army. Wants me to keep it safe. He reports to me now, Dick. To me. What? What? Schizo. Bro, I just wanted to warn you. They're coming. I can't stop them. They're coming, and this time, this time the Colonel's bringing the whole damn house. Uh, don't let him. We're not going anywhere. And when he comes, this time, we'll be ready for him. Hey, Deke. Captain, the Colonel's waiting. I'll be there, goddammit. Now get out. Hey, Deke. Look, I gotta go. But, uh... I'll tell Lieutenant Whitaker that you send your best wishes. Captain Sarkozy signing off. Oh, goddamn you, Schizo. Out here, there ain't nothing but murdering drifters and raiders. What a slimy bastard Schizo is, man. I, I hate Schizo. Like, I knew it since early on, but he keeps trying to come off like he's helping us with something. Like, his warnings are meaning something. Like, I, I don't know, bro. Skizzle, you're not a good person, and we we know what you're about, man. So, I'm not even gonna deal with you. You're talking about like warning by like, poisoning our water supply. You're coming for us, well, we're coming for you. That's what we're doing right now. Should kind of make sure we gotta get Sarah out of there and this Colonel's crazy ass out of there as well. And that, my friend, is all of them. Oh yeah. Jesus. Uh, who's man? You there? It's clear. You can uh have her keep the truck over. Copy that. What's clear? Hey, get a surprise for you, brother. Oh. oh great. That's great. Can't wait. Deacon. Did I <laughs> did we miss something? <laughs> did I drive past everything? What the hell is that? A little gift from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. All right. Okay. Cool. That ought to be enough. All right. What's next? <sighs> Creosote, how I'll ready you again when I'm ready. Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't wanna know. Keeping them safe. Iron Mike. Let's see. So what's our plan now? Get that creosote? That's probably like the wedding agent, the fuel that's we're gonna use on the fertilizer, right? Map indicator. I need to talk to you. Ricky, what's wrong? The militia. What? Where? Boozer thinks they might be planning another attack, so he asked me to send you to take a look. Goddamn militia. 
Yeah, I got this. Thank God. I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. Where to? Storylines. Another militia attack. Last of them. Clear the militia camp for Lost Lake. Militia camp, militia camp, militia camp. Wow, where would these come from? Return to Iron Mike. Talk to Ricky. That's for a different thing. That's like entirely something else. Oh, they have all the hordes on here now. There's an O'Leary Mountain Horde. Oh, this is dope. Whoa. Yeah, I can see that's like a little mini series of us just like walking through clearing those. I thought we uh, got, oh no, no, that was another place in Kimalt. Um, Let's, can we like tag all of these? Because, like, it'd be nice to go in, like, a logical... Yes, they're all on the map right here. Is that a horde? It is. All the hordes are on the map now. Beautiful! I love this, man. Hordes, hordes. Fall! Yeah, there, there are more hordes. Okay, we got all these hordes. We cleared this region out. I remember distinctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We destroyed all those hordes. Dude, let's do it. Um... So what we're gonna do, let's just run through here and just in like one smooth motion, clear out all these militia camps and then just loop back around um, to, to Iron Mike's. So first things first, these people are about to get rested in peace. Got the Chicago chopper, we have our eliminator, we have our crossbow. Hmm. Copeland, Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Hey, Cope. Yeah, let me guess, you got a job for me. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get a chance. Peeking out. We are not gonna be doing that, probably. I'm thinking about maybe if we swap the crossbow, because if we're going on a bunch of missions where we're, like, combating other people, um, it might be nicer to have the Talon 7. I know the crossbow has the range that we're looking for, and it's kind of like anywhere on the body that gets a knockout, but we have yet to try out the BFG! And I kind of want to try out the BFG! Oh, I'm crashing! <laughs> Rippers! I love them too. Oh, this is probably what we missed earlier. So we'll go ahead and keep missing that. I'm gonna stop by here and grab our weaponies. Dang, my, I'm, the bike is going through with this. In this one. Also, I don't think that weaponies is a word. But hey, you know, cute limp here. <laughs> Where's the gun locker? There it is. Look at it, the BFG on the back. I'm looking forward to this. Apparently it's just like one big clip. There's no reloading and it's like rate of fire is nice. One shot anywhere on the body should be. So I'm here for it. This is tight, dude. Ah, uh, had to focus up. We're pretty, oh, I don't have a silencer on it though. Oh well. We'll see what happens. We'll probably take these camps pretty loud anyway. Alright. Nice and quiet. There's something out here. I don't want to stop the bike over there. There's a bear or a breaker or something. I heard it. But we should be coming up on the camp. I'll leave this bike right here in the bush. Do we have a silencer? We have one for that. Okay, we do have a silencer. That's very good for us. We'll put that on there for now, but we'll equip this. I'll scoop up this kerosene. No, we don't need it. Can we craft anything? Yeah. What's going on here? Growler. We're pretty low on that, but yeah. We're good otherwise. Okay. This is them. I don't want that. I saw a bigger guy. One of the... Oh, that body there on that tree scared me. Him. Goddamn militia. Do they see us? Uh, gotta be careful. Heavies, shit. Oh, 
Hold on, hold on. Okay, they see us now. We're getting flanked! I saw it, it was a bit late. Come on, you sons of bitches. Where? Come on, run up some more. I'll take you there. Bro, I'm out of freaking focus. Dude. Let's use a cocktail. No flank. Maybe it's better from closer up. I want to try the cowboy then. One more. In the house. Yeah. Got your face, buddy. A couple more camps to clear out. Two more. Dang, we actually took a lot of damage. I didn't even notice. Um, the Chicago chapter is cool, but it's probably much better for like mowing down targets that are a bit closer and can't shoot back at you with high powered rifles and weaponry. So we're going to get this swapped out for something a bit more accurate. Let's try out the cowboy and uh, I'll meet you all um, maybe somewhere like near uh, like this second camp over here. As a matter of fact, on the way, we can just stop by this ambush camp, pick up some new weaponry. Um, so that's what I'll do. And I'll meet you outside of that next place. Okay, not too far now. I'll pull up here because I can already see bodies. Let's see, I'd like to take this one a bit more like silently. Um, who knows if we have that option. Our silencer is on this, right? Yeah. So this will be an easy shot here. Militia. Goddamn militia. Oh, another squad. Damn it. Nice. I'm going to avoid helmet people while using this. Come on, you sons of bitches. Take the far guy. Oh, that was a helmet. Wait. Uh! Dead. Okay, let's just get them in the chest with this. Because a shot anywhere should take them out. Damn, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a hit anywhere. So aiming for the head's a bad idea with this gun. Look at that. Learning things, man. I like this a lot. And then let's do this. Oh, that's such a tight reticle. Ah, I like that. We like that. We take those. Man, let's loot, bro, and get to the next camp. I like that a lot. The BFG is very handy for dealing with heavies, especially people with helmets and stuff. Just put this bullet in the body and they're gone. All right, yeah, we looted them up. Got some, like sterilizer and stuff off them. A couple of cool things, very useful. Let's get to this next place. That's too far. They keep trying to take us to, what are these? Oh. Like little circles down there. We gotta investigate that. Let's we'll see what's up soon. We're close. Let's get out here. What's going on in this building? Those are newts. We good? Oh, yeah, I see a body right out that door. It's such an easy shot. No silencer. Let's get a little closer. There's a heavy over there. I didn't kill. Militia, damn it. More of them. Is that how you 
got. That was a helmet from this far away using this gun. It's a headshot. Demolition, come on. They're not down, right? Oh my god, what is that? Bro! Okay. Woo! That was not okay, man. That is not okay. I hear something. Screamer? There we go. So, I saw them all aggro back inside. I hear something else. I don't know what it is. Let's BFG this. One down. What? Am I missing, bro? Come on, you sons of bitches. I don't understand. There are two left. Where are they at? I see one. It says the other one's like right on top of us. What? <laughs> Get out of here. How do we get this, bro? No way. Hey, John. You know you're out there. Yeah, bro, I'm here. Oh, no way I missed. These dudes have crazy armor. Was this the last place? Yeah, we did it. Sweet. Uh, so I'm kind of interested to figure out what these like small circles here are. The Berkeley Lake Horde. So I guess there's just like one massive horde that can be in one of these three spots. And that is, you know what? We got attacked by them once, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that's like horde stuff. Um. I'll leave that for right now. Let's go see what's going on with Copeland. Cause that's like some main plot stuff that we can push out. Uh, I'm gonna loot. No, I'm gonna go in the window, not on the roof. Deacon, your hops are too massive, bro. Thank God. All right, I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. Very concise conversation. I kind of appreciate that. You know, some clear, concise communication between two individuals with some advanced uh, intellectual uh, capabilities and communications. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore, man. I'm tripping. Oh, dude, look at that combat shotgun. These guys are kitted up. They are, like, proper military. So I don't want to get too close to them. They'll shoot me down. There's a trap? It looks like a trap. Some trap leaves right there. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. Squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! Yeah, I know that we were probably like <laughs> geared up for like a a, a ride out, like oh my, it's double double. But uh, 
Nah, I, we gotta get some different weapons. Um, I don't know, man. The cowboy is cool, but let me think for a second. So this is our loadout right now. The RPD, we have the cowboy, and uh, for like some stopping power, we have good old little stubby. Um, but let's see what's going on with Manny in the next episode. Thanks for joining me here in the Q and Nimbus, everybody. I'll see you all soon. We'll break Manny out. Maybe check out some hordes. We'll see. <laughs> Take it easy.